Do you want to learn more about the art library feature of Lightburn? Well, if so, you're in the right place. What am I talking about? Well, stick with me because we're going to jump into this together and I'm going to explain. Let's go. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to jump into Lightburn, and I'm going to share a bit more on the art library feature. I've been getting a lot of questions on this, so figured it was a good topic for a video. With version 0.9.10 of Lightburn, they added a feature referred to as Art Library. However, one of the issues with it is it's not very obvious how to activate or use. So in this video, we're going to jump into it, and I'm going to share with you all the nuances of the art library. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go up here to where it says window at the top. We need to click that. We need to scroll down to where it says art library and then we need to click it to activate the view. We now have the view of the art library however it's empty. So one of the first things we need to do is create a new library. And so we go down here to where it says new. We click new and it'll pull up a dialog window. Now with this a pro tip is I'm going to create my art library on a share drive because I have a number of different lasers and a number of different installations of Lightburn and I want to share these libraries across them all. Uh, so you don't have to use a share but if you want to obviously share them that's the best way to go about it. You can also use uh, services like OneDrive, Dropbox, Google Drive, etc. to do the same. So with that being said now that I'm here what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the pane here. I'm going to click new because I'm going to add a folder and I'm going to name this uh, light burn art and then hit enter. You can name it whatever you want. Obviously I named it light burn art. Now I'm going to double click this and then I'm now in that directory and I'm going to give it a file name for the actual art library. In this case I'm going to do DIY 3D tech as that and click save. Now you notice up here I've got a new library installed. Now you can create multiple libraries and I'll get into that in a minute. However one of the first things we want to do with this library is import some graphics because it's empty right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to the import button. I'm going to click import. Again it's going to pull up a dialog window and what I'm going to do is I'm going to import all my DIY3DTech.com logos. So I'm going to click the first one. I'm going to hold down shift click the last one and then I'm going to say open and now all my files have been added and I'm ready to go. Now one of the things if I want to select for example this one right here and I want to add it to my project I can just select it then go down here and click add to my project and it's in there. Now the other piece say I have an existing graphic in here what I can do is select the graphic I can go down here import graphic from project and then I can I'll give it a new name I'm gonna call this title 2 and then I'm gonna click OK and then see it gets added back over here. Now with that what we can do is let's go ahead and add another one and again I'm going to use my Lightburn art directory but this time it's going to be for my other channel video drone and so I'm going to name it appropriately I'm gonna click Save now I have a second library and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to import the logo graphics from Video Drone. So I go back down here to import and then I am simply going to select the graphical ones and I've imported them. Now as you can see I have two different art libraries one for DIY 3D Tech, one for Video Drone. So as you can see here you can have numerous libraries. Now one of the things if I want to I can select video drone and then I can go down here to unload I can unload it. Now say I want that library back in the future I just go to the button above it I click load then I navigate to my Lightburn art directory I reselect it again I open it and it becomes re-imported into my art library. That's as simple as it gets folks also there is a delete if you want to delete something from your library 
libraries you can just click the delete button down here pretty simple and straightforward but hopefully that's answered a lot of the questions on the art library feature now this is a super handy feature if like me you're working on a couple different channels and numerous different projects you have different clients you want to keep their graphics or images separated this is a super handy tool so hopefully you found great value in this if you did hey give it a big thumbs up be sure to share it with your friends swag shop in the corner subscribe hit me up in the comments below if you got any other light burn questions you would like me to do a video on i love the software and i love doing these videos cheers and catch you in the next one please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects